Hello, this is Ms. Moore, and today we're going to discuss specific heat capacity. Today's essential question, how are heat changes without a phase change calculated? Please make sure you have your calculators handy for this lecture. When an exothermic reaction releases heat to its surrounding, the temperature of the surroundings increases. The amount of the temperature increase depends on two things. First, how much heat or energy is released from the exothermic reaction, and secondly, on the specific heat capacity of the surroundings. So specific heat, or heat capacity, is the amount of heat needed to raise one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius. And specific heat is used when there is a change in temperature without a phase change. The equation we'll be using today is Q equals M delta T C. Q is the heat or the amount of heat in either the unit's joules or calories. M is the mass of a substance in grams. C is the, the specific heat in joules per gram degree Celsius, or it could also be calories per gram degree Celsius. And delta T is the change in temperature, um, which you calculate by taking the final temperature minus the initial temperature. And you normally write that as T final minus T initial. Right. That's really all there is to know about specific heat capacity. Um, so now, let's try a problem. Okay, let's try a specific heat capacity practice problem. So, the temperature of a piece of copper wire with a mass of 167.2 grams increases from 25 degrees Celsius to 48 degrees Celsius when the metal absorbs 849 joules of heat. What is the specific heat of copper? So our equation for today is Q equals M delta T C. And let's make a list of our variables. We'll read through the story again and fill out who goes where. So let's see, what do we know? We know that it is 167.2 grams, which is our mass. We know that the temperature changes. It starts at 25 degrees Celsius and ends up at 48 degrees Celsius. So our delta T is 48 degrees Celsius minus 25 degrees Celsius, giving us a mass of 23 degrees Celsius. All right, um, the metal absorbs 849 joules of heat. That's our Q. And we want to know the specific heat capacity. All right, from here, we just plug this into the formula. So we have Q equals the mass, 167.2 grams, times delta T, which is 23.0 degrees Celsius, times C, which is our X. All right, so now we're going to solve for x. We'll have 849 joules equals 3845.6 grams degrees Celsius x. Okay, and then to solve for x, we will divide by whatever's next to the x. So let's cross out. And on this side, we'll have 8345.6 grams degrees Celsius. And that gives us 0 0.22077, et cetera, joules per grams degrees Celsius. And that's how you calculate specific heat.